Okay, what the f Why? Huh? The fuck is this gate? Dr. Frank's build a boyfriend. Okay! Uh, hi everybody, this is, uh, Evil Jess, and, uh, yeah, Dr. Frank's build a boyfriend! Yeah, I guess, uh, if you can't, you can't find a boyfriend, I mean, there's plenty of spare parts laying around in graveyards and morgues, you know. You know, just, uh, rip off what you like and attach it somewhere else, I guess. Uh, let's, uh, let's start this bad boy. Okay. Do-do-do-do-do-do. Alright. Once upon a time, in a treacherous mountain hills of Guinelle, there lived a wondrous, amazing mosonitist named Dr. Frank. And further? And yes, he was a doctor. He finished, like, half of both of his doctorates before he got kicked out. That TOTALLY COUNTS! I don't care what anybody says! That TOTALLY COUNTS! Can everyone lay off about this? Sure. <clears throat> anyway. The super awesome Dr. Frank spent his days toiling away at his research, pursuing his lifelong dream of bringing people back from the dead. It wasn't for any sentimental reason. There was some long lost, there wasn't some long lost loved one he wanted to bring back or anything yet. No, it was a much more noble pursuit, the aim of advancing mankind's scientific knowledge. Yet, it was the same research that caused local villagers and even the weak-minded university men to fear them. Because they were stupid jerks! And they couldn't possibly understand the sheer genius of Dr. Frank's work. But it was no matter for the genius doctor and was an honorable and humble man who simply continued his most critical search, even if it meant he was completely alone, forever alone. Okay, well, he wasn't totally alone. Iggs was there and he was a fine assistant, but even though he keeps asking for raises. Damn, dude, get unionized. But the point is, one day a sudden knock came at the door. The scientist opened it to find a beautiful man with a radiant glow standing there. His heart felt strange. Previously, an unknown feeling began to pour. The man opened his mouth and said, Yo, what up? Name Dominic. Yo, that freak that got kicked out of Hindenburg. You for those weird death experiments, right? It was like an angel had been sent to meet them, and now the angel was asking about his research. No matter what Dr. Frank did, he couldn't stop his heart from pounding. The good doctor invited the man in, and they quickly got to know each other. As the days passed, the man's visits grew longer and longer, and the relationship grew into something romantic. Dr. Frank had never given his heart to anyone before, but maybe for him, maybe for this man named Dominic. Three months later... I never want to see another beautiful boy again! Dr. Frank, are you still in there? No one he is here to take your call. Please leave a message after the tone. The door opens and my assistant Iggs walks into my room. I try to bury myself into the sheets, hoping that maybe he won't see me. Instead, he rudely opens the blinds. It's been a week, Dr. Frank. So I could be as sad as long as I want. I lost the love of my life! Frank... Doctor. He waves his arms in the air, in the air to air, in the air out of frustration. Look, I know he meant a lot to you. I mean, he was your first, right? <sighs> no one likes being dumped, especially when it was so out of the blue like that. But but sitting in your room all day crying into your bed sheets isn't going to help you recover. You need to. Leave me alone! He said I was cute. I was in love. He was my boyfriend! He couldn't possibly know what I'm going through. You can't possibly know what I'm going through! Actually, Dr. Frank, I've gone through my fair share of breakups myself. You don't know. You do know how I met my current boyfriend, right? Yes, I think I do know what you're... Ah! How could you say that to me? My love was special, unique. It wasn't like your love, it was destiny! I rolled further into my blankets, breaking my sight line with this egregious interloper. <sighs> I don't get paid enough for this. Dr. Frank! He starts to pull the blanket off the bed, against which I double my efforts, keeping him at bay. I didn't come in here to fight with you. Can we- can you stop? We have a problem! 
I can feel his grip lessen, and I peek my head out from the blanket cocoon to look at him. He's holding a piece of paper in his hands with a weird look on his face. I tentatively grab it and start reading. Tomorrow's the Hindenburg University Conference! <laughs> you know, the one people travel all over from the country to see? <laughs> well, the confidence schedule was posted today. <laughs> and... What the hell is this? Right in front of me, in plain letters, is... Returning from death to life and after a breakthrough study by Dominic Nilion. Oh, he stole his work. Resurrection? But that's my research. But it's Dominic presenting it? I... This... This can't be right. He wouldn't be presenting my research under his own name. I tried to tell you last week, I noticed him leaving some with some folders the day he dumped you, but you're too busy crying into your gallon tub of ice cream to listen. No, this couldn't! He, he. Ah, that asshole! First he breaks my heart and dumps me out of the blue, and even after he called me babe. I mean, how could he say that and then do this? He takes my research? My baby? And now he's presenting it to those joke ones at Hindenburg University like they hadn't rejected my same exact proposals, yes, previous? Why did he get accepted while I was kicked out? Well, your thesis project did bite the headmaster's hand clean off, Dr. Frank. It was one time! Yeah! Whatever. That's not important right now. What's important is Dominic is about to claim my research as his own and maybe, even, maybe... Maybe this was his plan all along! I mean, but we're soulmates! I just knew we were! But now, now I don't know. I crumpled the paper in my hands, writhing with angst. There's no way! There's no way I'm going to let him get away with this! That asshole, that asshole ruined my life! He's taken my baby my research! I throw the blankets off of me, leaping to my feet. Eggs! Yes, doctor. Get the shovel, I'm going to show that asshole what happens when you piss off a scientist. Later that night... Frank... Doctor! Doctor Frank, I'm pretty sure this is illegal. I look up at him, holding a particularly interesting specimen in my hand. Does this look like the arm of a hot boy to you? This is illegal! A lightning strike touches down a good while off as if to exaggerate his statement. No one using these. It's fine. We are just, we are desecrating graves. I mean, I've helped you with a lot of crazy experiments, but this, this is where I draw the loot. Eek! I throw the arm holding, I'm holding up at him and quickly climbing out of the grave. Yeah, so maybe there's a chance this isn't completely illegal. But, this is a historical moment, Diggs. If we are going to create the first artificial life form and show up that asshole and those idiots at this uh, university, we can't skip on anything. We're just going to make the world's first artificial life form here where we're pushing the boundaries of human capability. We're going to create the world's hottest boy! And then Dominic will take one look at him, and then realize he was a fool for leaving me, and even a bigger fool for taking my research, because now I have someone even hotter than him! How honorable, Dr. Frank. Ix prepared, appears to be trying to find the perfect position to hold the specimen up with the least amount of bodily contact. So you'll see, people who, who advance the boundaries of human capability why never stop by silly things like laws. Now quick! I heard that Mr. Lance had a pretty big penis. We can use that. Suddenly, something moves in the underbrush. Eek! What was that? Hey, watch what you're doing. You almost dropped our precious spoilers. But didn't you hear that, Dr. Frank? I think there's something. A noise breaks out from behind us. Well then, hurry up and find that penis. The Dr. Frank behind you! I quickly spin around, sending down him ceiling in the pit of my stomach. There's a man I've never seen before standing there. I'm sorry, was I disturbing something? Oh, uh, ha, 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 uh, um, no? I step back into Iggs, hoping that this stranger can't see any of our souvenirs. I'm so sorry, it was his idea, and... I punch him quickly before he can say anything stupid. This causes him to recoil the arm we had been arguing over a few minutes later, and lands on the ground with a loud thud. The man takes a look, clear look of what's dropped at the ground and looks back at me. 
What was his idea? The man takes a step closer to us. I quickly position myself in front of the arm, holding my breath. All fun? Oh fun. <laughs> You're so funny. Such a cute. <laughs> wow, it sure is cold out of here all of a sudden. Well, where should we be going now? I grab her bag of loot and dash away as fast as as fast as my legs can take me. Iggs yelling after me, telling me to slow down. It was nice to meet you, Dr. Frank. <laughs> Top secret. If I get arrested, I'm suing you. I dump the bag's contents onto the floor, full body parts falling out and bouncing off the floor. I said I'm going to sue you! Mm, I think we have just enough. Mm -hmm. mm. Dr. Frank, do we even need all of these? Why did you take so many to begin with? Eggs, we're making art here! We can't just use any body part. We must use only use absolutely most beautiful pieces! I pick up some arms and to take a closer look. Like this, see the absolutely gorgeous look at that keratin. Or actually, not as beautiful as the wood you dropped, but I suppose you're right. They're beautiful enough. You say that as if I dropped it of my own free will and not because someone punched me. Now where did we put the... Mm. Ah! Ah! Shoot! I turn to look at my assistant. We have a problem. Like how we just desecrated dozens of graves and hacked up and stole family members' body parts and we're, we're spotted doing so? No, 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 not that. We... I pause not sure how, how to say this. We didn't grab any... Any... You know? I gestured downward, shyly hoping he'd get the reference. I have no idea what you're trying to say. Dick! We didn't grab any dicks! Oh! Well... This is terrible! We even had a perfect specimen with this Lance's penis! How am I supposed to make Dominic jealous of me now? Dr. Frank, do you honestly think that is what's going to make Dominic jealous of you? Yes. Mm. We need to go back. Absolutely not! He blocks my exit, making sure I can't retrieve any other body parts. Yeah, we don't have time for this! Fine, we need to, uh, I hate saying this. Uh, I'll just, I'll just improvise. I don't like where this is going. It is fine! Totally fine! We're still making something beautiful here. We just need to be creative. Let our creative juices flow. Now, let's see. Okay, now I get to pick hair. Uh, no. No. Ooh. No. Ooh, la la! Um, uh, nah, not a fan of the man bun. Oh god, that's even douchier. Nope, no emo. I think, yes! Do we want his hair color to be red? Orange? Tragic anime boy hair color. Black! Brown! Pink! Purple! Blue! Green! Yellow! Orange! Red! I think we'll do red. Eyes! Ooh, those are some sexy eyes right there. Ooh, even sexier. Oh, I'm gonna have a- Nope! Nah! -uh. Mm, yeah, we'll go with that skin color. Uh, that'll work. Okay, penis! No was bitte. Little carrot. Modest cucumber. Chunky gordo. Double trouble. Just like my animes. Oh, yeah! We're going with just like my animes. It's probably gonna be a tentacle, but... You yeah, know. Confirm. Perfect! Um, Dr. Frank, what were those penis options just now? Eeks, open the roof doors, I need a little atmosphere, I make history here! He suddenly goes to the crank, reluctantly beginning to turn it. The ceiling creaks open, sharing dark, turbulent skies, a cold, harsh rain above us! I raise my arms up, catching the coldness in my outstretched arms. There's a strange sensation in my stomach, a nodding of excitement and anger. It's rising through my body, invigorating me with newfound strength. Hee 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 hee! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Ix! Ix, this is it! It's perfect disguise, they know! They know what we're about to do, the impossible! They know what we're about to do! Ha 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 ha! 
can stop me. Nothing can stop us. I'm going to show Dominic that I don't need him. That I'll never need anyone like him in my life ever again. He and his kind will become obsolete. We're going to have a better world, Eggs. We're going to make it so no one will ever have their hearts broken again. Dr. Frank, you're scaring me. I can do this. I can. I can make the most beautiful boyfriend ever. Whoa. That's a little loud. We work. The hard night, accumulating enough energy for the lightning storm to inject into our subject. We almost fail multiple times, the body not holding the energy as well as it should. But no matter, my sheer genius, hard work, and determination carried us through the many grueling hours of surgery. We had done it. We had created the world's most beautiful boy! <laughs> Hello, handsome! Why is there- there's pepperoni for nipples. Mm. Dr. Frank, he's kind of ugly. Don't say that to him! You'll hurt his feelings! I'm sure, and I'm sure he's beautiful to someone. No, what am I thinking? I made him, he's beautiful, and beauty is relative anywhere! Mm. Of course. Especially with his, uh, uh, what exactly is that on his abdomen? It's his 128 pack. I figured the more packs you have, the sexier you are. So I added a lot. Hmm. Frank. Doctor. Dr. Frank, you uh, took an anatomy class, right? Oh, well, I guess technically. Maybe. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> he spoke. Did you hear that, Iggs? My boyfriend spoke. You what? My boyfriend! Haven't I been saying that the whole this whole time? You've been saying you were going to make a boyfriend, not your boyfriend. Of course, I'm making my ultimate boyfriend. Look at this! I wrap my arms around the monster to show Iggs what I mean. He's soft. He returns the hug, lifting me up off the ground, nearly breaking my bones in the process. Can't see. He's gone. I can't breathe. He's so strong. That's that's sexy, right? Ah, monster, drop him. You drop him right now. The monster lets go of me. I painfully hit the ground. Dr. Frank, are you all right? Ho oh, ho, of course. Because my boyfriend just hugged me. Frank, Dr. Frank, please stop. Hee <laughs> hee, cute. X, X, did you just hear that? Dr. Frank, please calm down. He's the perfect boyfriend. X, X, look, look. Okay, look. I ran up to my boyfriend, wrapping my arms around his waist. We look good together. Like, would this make Dominic jealous? I don't know if jealous is the right word for it. The monster leans over and gives me another hug. This time not as painful. Oh, he's a hugger. That's the best, the best ultimate boyfriend. Papa is soft. Oh, uh, no. Uh, please don't call me that. I love my papa. Please stop. Well, uh, that's uh, that must be a glitch. Hee <laughs> hee, papa is soft. No, I am your boyfriend. Repeat after me. B O Y F R I E N D. Papa likes hugs. Dr. Frank, please make him stop. Don't worry, we can train him out of that. Probably it'll take some time, which we will probably don't have. Hee <laughs> hee. It doesn't matter. As long as he doesn't talk, it should be fine. He can still be my boyfriend. And let's get moving anyway. If we leave now, we can make it to the University Square before the presentation start. Boyfriend, let's go. We're going on a field trip. Yay! Field trip! I begin to lead him by the hand, wondering how we're going to navigate the narrow stairs leading from my secret lab. Surely you're not going to take him into town like that! What do you mean? Well, I mean, he's naked! How else are we going to see his beauty, then? He's going to get arrested for public indecency before you ma can even make it to the conference. Fair point. Fine, so we'll dress him. Mm, I made him pretty big. You did. Mm. I'm not sure if we have any clothes that will fit him. <sighs> mm. 
Dr. Frank, you need to dress him. Okay, okay, I guess I'll just be creative. Objective! Dress your boyfriend. Oh, this ought to be good. Uh, entryway, dining room, kitchen. I guess we go to the bedroom. Alright, I don't want to open these. The skeletons are stored in there too. You're going to fall out. Packing was never my strong suit. I must say, assortment of warm clothes that I have, that I have, I still have a while until laundry day. The only thing that would may fit my monster would be, I pick up my old nightshirt. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Checks itself before it wrecks itself. I pick up my old nightshirt. Perfect. This will fit. I'm still missing some clothing articles. None of these pants will fit him. My oldest friend, Dr. Oink. Dominic? Didn't find her very cute. In hindsight, maybe it was never meant to be. Laundry day is when you shift a pile of clothes one direction, right? Okay. This daylight! Okay, so we... And by the best, I mean me. Huh. Meaty Man Monthly, strictly for research purposes. Mm -hmm. I pick it up and add it to my inventory, just in case. <laughs> a wonderful face to wake up to every day. Alright, so it doesn't look like I have... Let's see, where would I keep pots? Like, where the fuck are a decent pair of pants? Let's check the study. I pick up yesterday's newspaper. I put the newspaper back down. Yeah. I, sp I gotta spruce up my study somehow, right? And some of these are even handy. Get it? Like a hand. But I'm bunch. I'm going to die alone. No, not that yet. The button was set to move the bookshelf, revealing my passage, my secret last. I got lazy and just keep it open all the time now. Comically large dictionary. Chinese can translate any script and unknown to man. How pretty useful, but also painfully heavily. I refuse to carry this around if I don't have to. Pick up? No. I cannot afford to carry a two-ton book around. That would be great. Squishies! The limited edition, okay? <laughs> okay. Totally not a secret passageway. Nifty, nifty, knickknacks. Okay. Where would a pair of pants be? Let's check the kitchen. Holy cockroaches. God, don't squish those. The tenants, Mrs. Pretty Princess, Mr. Handsome Prince, Mr. Slightly Too Devoted Knight, and Mr. Inappropriately Dressed Butler, and Mr. Her Majesty's Pit. No, they don't pay rent, unfortunately. A dusty knife. It's so worn, it can't cut anymore. Mainly been used of the prior jaws of Anne. I'll just pick it up and add it to my inventory, in case I need it. Nothing here except pickled bugs, plants, and unidentified failed projects. Ooh. It's a miracle, this flowers. I don't even remember the last time I watered it. In case you are wondering, it is possible to stay awake for four days straight while drinking your very own, almost patented, Dr. Frank coffee. I don't have time to cook. I have science to do. The horizon of men... Human knowledge is about to expand. A pile of dirty dishes. So they all work about. Okay, so... Nothing. Not a zip zilch. Okay, nothing there. Let's check the entryway. Oh, we got shoes! A locked cupboard. I had thrown all of Don and mixed things in here after he left me. I didn't want to throw them out in case he came running back into my arms. So you this what a mistake he made. <laughs> it's been a week and no signs of him running back into my good graces, unfortunately. I have a sword to fuse foot. Well, none of these will fit my monster, though. Naturally, his feet are very big. Mm -hmm. Shoot. What am I supposed to do now? The only person who would have shoes that fit him is... Dominic. He left behind a pair of shoes after the breakup. But in a fit of rage, I had thrown them in the cup, with the, sh the other shirt inside the entryway in the cupboard and threw away the key. Shit. So he threw away the key, so it's gonna be in the garbage wherever the fuck the garbage is. Let's check the kitchen. See if there's a trash around here. He threw away the key, so where would you keep a garbage can? Probably not. That's that. A nice fancy napkin is completely pristine because, you know, I never use it. I decided to pick it up, just in case. 
the nice sturdy chairs. Why do I only have three? It'd be good because I used others in a field experiment, naturally. Oh, I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know. I think I know what to do. I think I know what to do. I'll walk to Kubit. I fed it to Susie weeks ago. I'll need to find something or smash it or pry the door off. Okay. Using all my strength to muster, I pry the cupboard door off its hinges. Gah! There, now it's open. It was almost as hard as opening that jar of premium bubblegum jam last week. Rummaging inside, I find a shoe. Mm. What an asshole. Mm. I can't believe he's really gone. It wasn't supposed to happen like this. I had been okay by myself. I was a genius surrounded by those who couldn't appreciate the beauty and grace of my work. Alone. Misunderstood. I convinced myself it was okay like this. I had my future all planned out and I was going to die an unknown genius someone ahead of my, his time. But then, Dominic. The way he looked at me in my research. I didn't even know it was possible that someone could potentially understand me. I knew what my, he knew what my work meant, what I meant, but he left. And I was alone again. And now this life I had chosen for myself is unbearable. The shoe's leather is rough on my hands. I should get this back to Iggs and the monster. Eh, I can fix that later. How to talk to a hot guy. So nothing else in here. Okay. It's a fancy chair. I don't really care. Alright, so let's check the conservatory. That's the one place I haven't checked for pants. I made this for a midterm project. It was we were supposed to make weed killer. I ended up creating something that makes weed grow on an almost comical rate. On top of that, I'm deathly allergic to this or it's poisonous. Either way, I don't want to pick this up unless I need to pick it up. And no. I love myself. I won't pick up the weed grower. It might not look like it, but I have a bit of fun. You just cannot see it because of my gloves. Gangrene? Nah. I can see the deck outside. Nothing of importance. It's Susie, my thesis project from my PhD program. He's named after the black-eyed Susan. Look, I built him specifically to specifically lust after the flesh of man. Yes, he's going to bite, but it's kind of in his nature. There's no need for them to kick me out of the program for it. And he even only bit someone once. That's pretty good for a man-eating plant. Even more plants. I have a lot of these. Okay, so nothing there. We checked the bedroom. We checked. Did we check the study? I think we checked the study. We checked the dining room. Yeah, I checked the study. Okay. Alright, let's check the lab. The dissecting table, it's also my boyfriend's crib. That doesn't sound weird, does it? Reference pictures from my boyfriend. Nothing happens. Okay. So. The epitome of my life's work. It's filled with old magical books I was able to smuggle from my brain countries. Janelle's unique stance, blah, 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 blah. Magic research feels. It was the best to get my hands on. Reanimation resorts. What I would have given for some necromancy texts. Ha! <laughs> like there aren't neck that haven't been any destroyed by now. I found a shot! Great. I pull out my bed shirt and move to put it on my boyfriend. What are you doing? I'm clearly giving my boyfriend a shot. That's what you wanted, right? To abide by public DCC laws and all the other crap. Well, I mean, do you, won't you have anything fancier? Look, this is the only thing I own that will fit him. You can spruce it up, I mean. It has blood. Are those blood stains on the front? It's coffee. And what? You want me to spruce it up? What, what, what does that even mean? I'm pretty sure that's not coffee, Dr. Frank. Uh, do you own a bow tie or something? Oops, this is what I'm wearing? And no, I can't take this off. It will ruin my look. Mm. Well, you better find something else to go with it. Here, have this back. You'll probably need to combine it with something else. Use. Combine. There. There you go. Fancy shit. Shirt, shirt! Wow, I can only just barely make out the coffee stains from back here. <sighs> hmm? 
Mm. Mm. You know, let's just make sure no one touches him during the presentation for health precautions. Okay, so we got all that. Inventory. Shoes. Shoes. Dr. Frank, I don't have time for this. If there's something you really should just talk to me. Oh, I guess I can do that. My bad. I found the shoes that will fit my boyfriend. Good shoes, shoes. Okay, so I found the shoes. Where the fuck? Where the fuck are the pants? Because, I mean, I'm looking everywhere for pants. I'm going to probably have to make pants or something. I mean, my boyfriend, a nice steady glow over the world. It's just a reminder of the things outside my door. If I ever stoop to open it. Oh, enough to leave anyways. Okay. Let's go check the bedroom again. Big comfy bed. For only the best of the best. And the best, of course, I mean meh. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, 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 I hit that. Laundry day, the direction to the right, right. I don't want to open these, the skeletons I have stored in here are going to fall out. Packing was never my strong suit. Okay, so check there. Kiss daylight, Tom, where is... I just need a decent pair of pants, Jesus. What the fuck are the pants? We checked the conservatory. Did we totally check the entrance way? Cupboard that used to be locked. Now it's missing a door. I can fix it later. I mean, I can't click anything. Group of well-worn shoes. They're all the ones that are too small for my boyfriend. Okay. My radical science. Nice. Like, I feel like I'm missing something somewhere. I probably should have thrown some of these out. Okay. Cause I'm like trying to find the pants and I can't find the pants. I mean, I can't, I mean, not that I'd argue if my boyfriend walked around with his dong out the whole time. She was still threatened to cut off my ears if I dropped off any of these. Uh, fancy hanging chandelier. I tried to use the crystal in experiment once. It didn't work. Okay. Inventory. Maybe I can combine something. Eh, looks like I can. To Hindenburg, seven miles. I mean, I'd have to buy some pants. Like I said, I can't find. Oops. I may have to. I may have to look up how to find some pants in this thing, cause Jesus, huh? Can't find pants. I need to find pants. Hi, Doctor Frank. Do you need anything? I have a question. What about what, Doctor Frank? I need help finding some pants. We have a problem. You say that if it's something new. What exactly do tentacle monsters wear for pants? Dr. Frank, please stop. You know... Do you know anywhere I can find pants suitable well enough for him? Uh, that's a hard one. Do your best bet to look outside of your house. That's what my intuition is telling me anyways. I gotta look outside? Are you fucking kidding me? Okay. Uh, I could go to the graveyard. Whoops. Click on that. Do not enter to the house. Uh, we could go to the church. Take me to church. Aha! Pants! Donation bar. So let's go. This is probably for the needy. Mm. Look, look, I see pair of pants. The most likely will come in a strange tentacle dick. I knew it was gonna be a tentacle dick! I knew it! <laughs> yes! Well, I think I qualify someone in need of the, the, some of the definitions of the world. I'll just grab these pair of pants and shove them in my pockets quickly if possible. They don't fit. The legs hang out. Eh, close enough. Alright, found them. i like, what the fuck? It's like a dude like with Satan behind him. I turn around and leave. Except. Ah! Oh, I see we meet again. Good morning, Mr. Frank. Doctor. Excuse me. I'm Dr. Frank. Oh, well, please forgive me, Dr. Frank. It's so nice to finally meet you. My name is Silios. I just moved here. Ooh. I took over the care of the church from the last priest. <clears throat> I see you found something of use in the donation box. I... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Dr. Frank, no worries. That's what they're there for. If you'd found use... If you have found a use in them, then they were destined to go to you, with you. Ooh. Oh, 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 thanks. 
He gives me a cute smile. Wait, I mean a sickly sweet smile. S well, since I just moved here... Ooh, I was hoping someone might be able to show me around. Oh. I gotta go! I run out of the church as fast as possible. I <laughs> made it! He just about cornered me. Got to keep an eye out for that guy. He's suspicious. Back to the lab. I pulled out the pair of pants I found. I can't believe you actually found a weird tentacle dick appropriate pants! Where exactly did you find those? The church! I don't even want to know how they ended up there. Pants! Pants! It's not... That's it! He's ready to go! Come on! Let's go, boyfriends! Dr. Frank! Dr. Frank, please wait! We don't have time for those eggs! The conference is starting in a few minutes and my boyfriend isn't there! But the sutures! Leading my boyfriend by the arm, I slam open the front door. To my dismay, standing there is... Oh, talk to your Frank! Ah! Ah! I hope now's not a bad time. Ah! He... Shit! Field trip! Field trip! Who's... This? This is... Ah! Uh... Wait a minute. This would be a good opportunity to perfect my presentation. I'll be giving it the conference. Uh, this is my dancing, handsome, absolutely sexy fellow here. He is my boyfriend, Papa. Uh, no, no, uh, don't say that. I love my Papa. Ha ha ha, I'm not into that, I swear. There's no need to hide your interest, Dr. Frank. I'm not into that! Ha <laughs> ha. My boyfriend suddenly moves on his own, waddling up to where the new neighbor is standing. Ah! Uh, oh, hello, doc Mr. Dr. Frank's boyfriend. What's your name? Uh, huh, you seem like a very happy fellow. I'm glad we were able to meet. I hope you treat Dr. Frank well. He seems like a nice, cute fellow. Ah! <sighs> My boyfriend suddenly clamps Shiro's on the shoulder, his face intense. Mama! STOP DOING THAT! I am so, so sorry. Mama, mama! Ha ha ha, your boyfriend is so cute, Dr. Frank. I wouldn't mind being your mother if you needed one. He doesn't need a mother or a papa for that matter. No mama. No, no papa. Mama. Gah! I don't even have time for this. We are going. I reach behind me, grabbing my boyfriend's arm. She shoves stairs. Sub past Celios and make our way to the Grand Conference. Except his arm rips off. Oh, the arm doesn't have quite the resistance I'm expecting. Instead, I look behind me and I see I'm holding half an half an arm. Doctor Frank, I ripped my boyfriend's arm off. I slam the door shut, ignoring the muffled noises I hear from the other side. Shit! What time is it? The conference started about five minutes ago. I look down at the arm of my hands. The since the skin seems to be slipping off, it looks like it's rotting. What do you? It's rotting. Oh, it is dead flesh. We didn't smoke it in for formalin or anything. But that would make it look hideous. I didn't. I can't work with hideous body parts, eggs. Field trip. I just saw another one real quick. Go fetch me the other one. The other fine. The, the other fine, but still slightly ugly specimens from the lab. Mm. Eggs. Um, please don't yell at me. I got rid of the extras. What? I returned them back to the graves. I was feeling so guilty. Wow, you have desecrated people's graves for the pieces, and you weren't even using them. At least, the least I could do was to return them. Ah! Well, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Bring my ultimate boyfriend on stage while he's got a gaping arm wound dripping all over the place? It would match the bloodstains on his shirt, at least. For the last time, it's coffee. Yeah! I have to calm down. The conference just started, and... A It'll go for another two hours. Dominic's presentation isn't until the end anyways. We'll just crush this presentation. Mm. So, we need to dig up another arm. Again, I'm I'm not doing that. Any, what else am I paying for you, e for you, you for eggs? Go dig up that arm! Ah! Angry bad. My boyfriend inserts himself between eggs and I, cutting off any argument that we might have started. Mm. <sighs> Fine, I'll do it. 
You stay here and babysit. What a thing to say about your boyfriend. Mm. I leave. Objective, find your boyfriend a new arm. Oh, dear God. Okay. All right. Oh, we're going to get a new arm. Uh, oh, shit. Crap, I made eye contact with him. Ow! Oh! It's so nice to see you again, Mr. Frank. Doctor! Oh, please forgive me. That's awfully rude. Especially after you took the time to correct me the previous time. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Mm. Mm. Oh, with... If you ever think of anything, feel free to let me know. <gasps> so auspicious! I can't believe his arm fell off of such a beautiful arm, too. I should dig up another one quickly. Though I should probably find something to dig it up first. Ah, oh, Dr. Frank, you're back! <clears throat> did I get it right this time? Oh, yes, you did. Is there anything I can help you with? Can I have, can I have your shovel? Ah, my lease take me out. Ah! Please take me out on a date first. Mm. Well, eh? no, I, I need it for, for, for what, Dr. Frank? To, you know, dig up stuff. Well, I'm sorry that you'll have to use your own shovel to dig up stuff. I try not to lend my shovel around lightly. I don't want it to get dirty. Mm. Uh, we're still talking about gardening equipment, right? I, I, you f f flirting with me? Oh, am I? You keep telling me I'm cute! Forgive me, that's just cause- if it's causing you any distress, I can stop if you want me to. Uh, uh. Dr. Frank, would you like me to stop? Uh, I gotta go. Yeah, <laughs> alright. Alright, so I need to find a shovel. Let's see if there's one in the church. Donation box. I already took some pants from there. Yes, we did. Large variety of books adorn stuff. They look really old, but well, careful. Ah! Even with my vast spring of knowledge, I can't read any of the book titles. What language is this even? Nice batch of roses, thorny vine scissors. The Altan uses roses as a as their center point. Wait a minute. But didn't this used to be a Chaldean clutch? Strange. Elaborate stained glass window. It shows a sad looking boy surrounded by a black basculin. What crap? I never understood how anyone could believe in such illogical stories. It's an altar. I really don't know much else about it. A whole bunch of pews. I have no idea they ha why they have so many. Uh, it's not like people, many people are with it being in the middle of the mountains and all. Okay. So we go back to the house. If there's going to be a shovel anywhere, it's going to be in the conservatory. Let's see if I can Collection of broken pots that I used to carry some of the weed grower around. Even more plants. Okay. I have a lot of these. I can see the deck outside. Oh! Duh! I'm blind! There's a shovel right there. I can see a shovel sitting behind Susie, but I won't be able to grab it without getting close enough for him to attack me. Hmm. Huh. Let's see. I think I need to find some man meat. Uh, let's go back to the entryway. Where's the arm? Is the arm anywhere? It's a fancy chair! I really don't care. Let's go to the dining room. Nothing there. Kitchen? There's gotta be something. Okay, nothing there. Maybe to the lab? I see you're back. I have a question. About what, Dr. Frank? I need help finding... A new one. His arm fell off. It certainly did, Mr. Frank. And since you got rid of the extras, what, where can I... You have to dig it up from your own graveyard? Oh, yes, I could. Alright, so that's not gonna help. Uh, let's see. Magic? Nope. Alright, let's check. I hate to say it, let's check the bedroom. I don't want to open these. Okay, nothing there. There's got to be something I can use to get... Oh, wait. What? Can I use the porno mag? May I use the porno mag? I slide it up towards Susie, keeping my head low. Hey, I want to see something cool. The plant hisses at me as I bring out a certain magazine. He goes silent as he sees the sparkling muscles on the cover. Perfect! I can accidentally leave this on. Leave this behind if I'm able to sit it. He grabs the magazine with his jaws open, spread full inch, and she no longer pays any mind to me. 
I guess gave a plant porn. What the fuck? Do I want to grab it? Oh, hells yeah. I managed to sneak around the dist distracted Susie. Grab the shovel. All right. Perfect. Now we can get the fuck out of here. Go back to the graveyard and start digging. Use. Uh. <laughs> I can't just stop digging potty pots with him stopping them. Let's talk to him. My, do you like talking to me that much? What would make you leave the garden? <laughs> you have an interesting look on your face there, Dr. Frank. Uh, so, um, hypothetically, if something big happened, would you leave? Excuse me? Uh, I mean, like, if something happened, would you go check it out? Well, I suppose. Great. So, what things would you leave for? Dr. Frank, do you want me to leave? Oh, no, 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 I'm not saying that. Then why are you asking me this? No reason, absolutely no reason. Oh, I know what I have to do. This is gonna get interesting. Okay, so I gotta get the plant grow or grow some shit. Okay. Just make weed curler. Yes. Holding my nose, I put it in the inventory. Atta! Oh, this sucks. Okay, I guess I can't do that. Alright, back to the hinder. And we are going to use the weed killer on the roses. I dumped the powder on the roses, trying my hardest not to breathe the dust. Finds lines, veins, and other weeds start popping up immediately, covering up the roses that were there for. That'll do it now, just to get Silas away from the graveyards. Hey, Silas, I saw a whole bunch of weird weeds in the garden church, and they were in that little box with your roses. <gasps> my flowers! He rushes off. Now we can get the work. Nothing happens. I move to dig again when something strong grabs the end of my shovel. Papa! Boyfriend? Me too, me too! He grabs the shovel and starts digging the grave. Even without a single hand, he puts my he puts my progress to shame. He wanted to come find you. It takes for some reason I'm happy to see him. Oh, so cute. What a great boyfriend. Wait, did anyone see him? Dr. Frank, you live in a high nigh impenetrable mountain range. No. No one saw him. Oh, good. Good. Ah! It seemed like the monster had found something while digging. He walks over to pick up the severed arm that he quickly reburied in the wee hours of the morning. Now, how did we get this old Nick in? My assistant starts to hand me a stapler for the arm that puts back after a second thought. Are you sure about this, Dr. Frank? What? Oh, come on! We have to get going. Give me the stapler. I mean, you're doing all this to get back at Dominic, right? Have you been paying any attention? I'm taking my revenge on him and those stupid university types who... Right, right, I am just think you're putting too much energy into this. Too much? I reach out for the stapler, but he pulls back. So you get re your revenge, then what? I reach out again, but he dodges me. Dr. Frank, then what? Then, then I'll be happy and they'll recognize what an amazing work I've done, and... And again, I reach for the stapler, but no avail. Eggs, we don't have time for this! When will you have time for this, Dr. Frank? I tried to ask you two days ago and a week before that, but you kept, kept, you keep avoiding the question. Ugh. What are you going to do now after you take your revenge? Well, then everyone will love me and they will accept me back to the university and Dominic will be so destroyed he'll have to leave the country. <sighs> and what if that doesn't happen? Ugh. Dr. Frank! Oh, I don't know, Iggs! Hmm. Now, can you please give me the damn stapler? He hands it to me, and I take it without looking him in the arm. Arm! Arm! I quickly reattach it to best of my abilities. Well, he's ready for the conference. Only a few minutes to spare until the presentation stops. Let's go! We arrive at Dominic's presentation conference brimming with people. To think all those people would have been looking upon my, looking upon my research at me if only things had been different. If only Susan hadn't become the one unfortunate encounter with the headmaster, Aaron. If only that professor hadn't threatened to report my work to the Queen's men. I could have been up there. Oh, uh, now where's that tussle? Just then, the current presenter goes behind me and the curtain split for a second. I see a certain brown-haired man I can never forget. That asshole! I charge through, pushing through the crowds, Iggs and the monster on my heels. We make it back to the stage just in the nick of time. Yeah! He sees me and takes a step back. 
Oh, wow, what are you doing here, Frankenfurter? God, what am I doing here? I I'm here to take my revenge! Dude, what? You stole my research, everything I worked hard so hard for, and now you're presenting it to these people, and, and, and... Oh, what, bro, can we talk about this later? I'm like five minutes away from doing this thing. God, fuck you, you broke my heart! Dude, are you still hung up about that? What? I mean, it was like, what, two weeks stops? Well, fuck you, and now, and now I have someone even better! I glanced behind me to present my new, better boyfriend, but he's still off in the crowds. Him and Iggs fighting to slip behind the stage. I made an entirely new creature, a new life form. He's better than you. He's more handsome and more affectionate, listens to me when I speak, and he's a million times better than you in any way. <sighs> cool. So, I'm gonna go do my presentation now. But, aren't you intimidated? Speechless now, I've completely moved on from you, and... Speechless at how I have completely moved on from you, and you are nothing but a mistake. Yeah, that's cool, bro. I'm gonna go do my presentation. He turns to leave, but I follow his heels. Your awesome research? Don't you mean my awesome research that you stole from me? That's why I'm doing all this, you see. Taking my revenge. Yours, I mean, it's based on your research, but it's still my experiment. Don't worry, I cited you in the bibliography of the paper. Suddenly, a crowd's clapping. A man pulls back the curtain, motioning Dominic to go onto the stage. Ugh, look, I gotta go. But that's my research! I rush to stop him from going out there from claiming my research as his own. But just then, Mr. Frank? I turn around to see Headmaster Arian. What the hell are you doing here? Iggs finally caught up with me with the monster, both out of breath. And what the hell is that? He gestures towards the monster who is staring at his missing hand. Y you, you people, you fools, stand back! I did the impossible. I did an incredible experiment that will revolutionize the nature of humanity. I created, I created the first world's as artificial life form. And you're going to go out there and change this loveless, cruel world. That man who st he stole my research. He my research. He hear me? I'm not going to let any of you step all over me again. Mr. Frank, Mr. Yilian is an esteemed member of our doctorate program, and such any claims of pra plagiarism are to be taken seriously. If you truly wish to pursue this fervor, and this isn't yet another one of getting your outburst, you can take this up with. Just then, the crowd bursts out in sound from the other side of the curtains, and I turn to look. There's a bird flying around. Around. Somehow he had been able to reanimate it. God help us. All of a sudden, people start moving. Stagehands are running off, whispering among themselves. Don't mention this creation you've brought with you to anyone, Mr. Frank. What? But I'm here to present. Would you shut up for what? The queen herself is in attendance tonight. Is she? It's been all over the papers. Ah. Suddenly, a few armored guards rush past, shoving their way onto the stage where bewildered Dominic stands. The headmaster pulls me back, further out of sight, and it's out of the lines of the ominous-looking guardsmen. Miss, look, Mr. Frank, we've tolerated a lot of your shenanigans in the past, despite what we've told you multiple times regarding the legality of your work. But, but what is invention in the face of... Despite multiple warnings, you have continued to pursue illegal research, and now you have passed the same illegal research onto one of our students. Ooh. The guardsmen have begun rounding up, begun to round up stagehands, lining them up next to Dominic. Most likely to arrest them. If you don't say anything, they won't arrest you too. Tour? Some yelling breaks out from the stage. It's Dominic yelling at the guardsmen. One of them pushes the other, and suddenly three men are fighting. Our eyes lock. It's not mine! It's, it's his! He makes a lunge towards me, but one of the guardsmen hits him, and he falls to the ground. I suggest you leave. People have started to scream, what in the world is even going on in the audience? Dr. Frank, we need to go! But my revenge! It grabs my hands and pulls me away. We make it out of town just in time. The fires are dotting the horizon in the direction of Hindenburg University. Oh. <sighs> We're lucky to have escaped, you know. Mm. Oh, butterfly! The monster runs off to chase an insect. Ugh. So what? We... So what now, Dr. Frank? Mm. Now that the university has realized the errors of its way and Dominic has been forced out of the country, mm. and now everyone loves you and nothing bad will ever happen again. I don't know, okay? I don't know what the hell I'm going to do now. The university will never accept now. 
I glanced towards the fires that have broken out in town. And that asshole, he didn't even... Can I make a suggestion? Oh, since you didn't say no. You've grown up in this town your whole life, right? The mansion was your grandmother's from what I remember. So what? So this is your hometown and the only place you've ever lived. Mm. And maybe it would be good to get some perspective? I mean, everyone here is, you know, the weird guy who lives in the creepy mansion in the woods and accepts with the legal research. You don't have to put it that way. There's a program I know over the border in Espington that specializes in plant regeneration. My boyfriend went to the university there and mentioned it. You know, it's not exactly the same research as you've been doing, but you could possibly find some use for it in your own experiments. So what, you're saying I should just, I don't know, go there instead? Well, yes. So I have to go to a completely different country to even find a place that would recognize my genius? Dr. Frank, I'm saying maybe it's time to get out of the house and stop obsessing over your revenge over making other people like you. Not to mention, if you manage to blow up a laboratory building again, it would be much easier to avoid repercussions if it happened in another country. But the people of Efsk again are so stuffy and snorty and... Ah, watch your step! Butterfly, butterfly! The monster comes charging over again, chasing a bug that's clearly not a butterfly. And then I realize that Sirius has followed the monster over to us. Ah! Oh, I see we meet again, Dr. Frank. Um, can we help you with anything? Papa Butterfly Pretty! Oh, I just happened to see your cute child running here through the church grounds. I was a bit worried about him falling into the ditch. Or even one of the unearthed graves. I haven't a clue as to where they came from. Ugh. Oh, and also, I didn't mean to eat her up, but you were discussing Eppingson? Uh, yes, we were. Actually, I'm from there originally. In fact, if there's anything you need to know, I'd love to help. Ugh. It's very generous of you, but it's just a thought. I'm not even sure if Dr. Frank is even going to move there. Yes, I would love to know! Please tell me everything! Ha ha ha, very well. Feel free to ask me anything, Dr. Frank. Butterfly pretty! Monster shoves a dick insect into my face. At a later time, of course. We ought to be getting back to the house. R right! I wave goodbye to Celius as we head back up the mountain. Two months later. Alright, so we are gonna stop it here. Ask me that question again. Um, where do you see yourself in ten years? Having cracked the code of animal regeneration, or about learning the clinical trials and testing on humans? Maybe you should leave out the human experimentation part, Dr. Frank. Otherwise, it's great. I think you're ready to go. Oh, do I look okay? Maybe put more gel on your hair. There's no way that's going to stay down the whole trip over there. But I've already used the whole ja. Oh, well, maybe just try not to touch it then. Sure enough, moments, my hair reverts back to its original form. Ah, so much for that. Don't worry about your hair, Dr. Frank. I'm sure you'll do fine. Yeah, if you say so. Are you ready to go? I think Celius will be here in a few minutes. He's helping you cross the border, right? <laughs> Dr. Frank. Ah! You seem kind of out of it there for a second. I don't know. Still feeling apprehensive? Oof. I just... What if I'm making a fool of myself? Or, or they already know who I am and they're just going to reject me anyways. Uh, it would be pretty cool to invite somebody to an interview if you know you're just going to reject them anyway. Even if that were the case, that would say more about them than you, right? If you say so. I'm just... I don't know. I keep thinking it would be just better to stay home and work on my experiments. It feels so weird to be doing this. Why? Because, I mean, I normally don't do this, you know? It's dumb, and I'm sure... Look, and I'm sure I look dumb to other people. I have better things to do than dress up fancy and have people work with inferior intellects. Tell me what to think. What did we say about your manners? Oh, sorry. It won't come out in the interview. Good. <sighs> Just give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? I, I suppose... I take a deep breath. At least I can gain some intel from the Essington scientific progress process while I'm over there. And you won't be alone either. I'm sure Celius can help you get to where you need to be. <coughs> Suddenly there's a knock on the door. Visitor, visitor! Oh, monster, don't open that! Too late, he's rushing off to the door. Oh, well, at least we know who's at the door this time. Are you ready, Dr. Frank? I happen to glance at the reflection in the air. I set my face to a determined look. It's something to try. If nothing else, may be a waste of time, but I have no idea what's going to happen here. Maybe something will, maybe not. All right, so I am going to end that here for you guys. Uh, so yeah, this is Frankenstein building his hot 
boyfriend. Uh, it's I actually kind of like it. It's kind of cute. It's kind of funny. You know, it's a simple point-and-click adventure. And the best part about this, it's free on Steam. Totally free. You don't spend any money. You don't have to spend any money. You can get tentacle dick. It's awesome. But I'm going to head out. So see you all next time. Bye-bye.